do dealerships actually acquire a down payment to buy a car? Absolutely not. Really? Yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> I don't know. That. Talk to us. You didn't know that, did you? Uh, what? No. Not Crazy, at all. huh? So, I, if, you're, if you're done with your question, I actually no, have fine. a follow-up question. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, boss, so for someone who's barely starting off in, in business for themselves and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, they're making okay money uh, through the business, but now if they're trying to buy a vehicle under their name. Obviously, you know, when, if you own the business, it doesn't always mean that you as a person is making a lot of money. So, for example, for me, Milton Alvarez makes around $10,000 uh, a year when I first started off. The business makes mm -hmm. money, but Milton Alvarez doesn't make much money in the last couple of years. So if I go into a dealership, I have you know some some cash at hand to be able to do a down payment. But if I go to a dealership and look for financing, how would that work if no banks would want to loan me the money? Because again, Milton Alvarez isn't making money. So great question, Milton. So the key is to be, you wanna be viable on paper. Uh, and what ended up happening is entrepreneurs, whether you're an entrepreneur or solopreneur, when you make that cash, when you make the money, sure, your business is making money. But what ended up happening is your finance companies, the finance companies want to see how you personally handle your bills, how you handle your debt. And, 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 and even if you're a first time buyer, they're still going to want to know how much income because they're going to go credit. Right. They're going to go credit first. What is your credit score? What type of lines of credit have you have established? And then they're going to look at your stability, your income, your stability. And if you're not viable on paper, income wise, personal, if you don't show any income, then the banks primarily cannot offer financing for you. When you say that, uh, and if they do, sorry, go ahead. And if they do, it's going to be limited financing. They're going to tell you, oh, yeah, you can, you, you go over here looking at a, a $15,000, 20000 car. And they walk you down a lot, like you're walking in, a, in an aisle at a grocery store. Well, we have this one here you can look at, sir. Yeah. Uh, so when you say, you know, okay, pretend I have decent credit. Let's say, I don't know, seven, seven seventy five, seven eighty. But now the only thing that I have to show, so, someone like myself may have to show is I have bank statements where you see how much money is coming into my accounts. Is that something that dealers should look at or do, do they only look at any form of tax returns? They do want to look at tax returns, but do you, you do have lenders that will also take secondary. So let's just say you hadn't filed your taxes in the last two years, in which that, that happens a lot in self-employed and the entrepreneurs. Do you have bank statements showing stable income? So they'll look at your four months of bank statements to show personal, not bank, not, not, not company business-wise, mm -hmm. but personal. So if you show four months of established income that you've actually established and it shows an average of whatever that ledger shows if it shows five thousand as the average six thousand as average they're going to look at the end of your you know your statement to see how much deposited how much was withdrawn so they'll look at that and take that into consideration but they they'll do that as well no cortez what, what's the, what's the average car i know i know you work at a probably a higher end uh, dealership because you know working with ferraris and and more, I, would I, would, am I correct in saying that, that you probably work with more of the luxury exotic side of, of cars? Yes, sir. Okay. So at our, at our store here, it ranges from your escalates. Uh, we do have some domestics as well as imports, uh, $20,000, you know, price range on up to a little over 300,000. What's the you average, know, so, what's the average uh, monthly car we, payment? We, what is the average monthly car payment? You know, right now the average monthly payment is about six hundred a month. Jeez. Six between five fifty and six hundred a month. Uh, two years ago, before the pandemic, it was about four. Love it, mm -hmm. love it. By the way, I think what we need to do is do a video, a separate video, on how to buy your dream car with the least amount of cost through your business. Because one of the mm -hmm. hottest videos I got on my YouTube channel is how I pay twenty five bucks a month for my Rolls Royce. So, uh, because it's through business and through my savings and my cash value, life insurance policy, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah.